In this New York One for You report, our Susan Jun has one man's story of an employment ad that wasn't what it seemed. <laughs> American careers. Yoshi Shirwaki, it sounded too good to pass up. No experience needed, will train, um, pick the airline that you want, great benefits, uh, paid vacation, uh, entire family, immediate family flies for free. An attractive offer for work with a new airline opening at JFK Airport. Shiraki found the listing online, called the number, and got a recording. It all seemed perfect until he heard the end of the message. Be sure to include your processing fee in the form of a money order or a certified check for $35 made payable to American Careers or $35 cash. Suspicious of the solicitation, Shiraki says he called JFK Airport and found they had never heard of American Careers. He then did an online search for American Careers and says he found a website that alleged the same number was used to sell bogus college degrees. Smart moves on the part of Shiraki, says the Federal Trade Commission. Consumers should be skeptical of these upfront fees for job opportunities. And, and there's a difference between a legitimate employment agency, sometimes an executive headhunting firm, where you might enter into a contract and pay some amount of money. But there you're reading the contract, you're meeting with counselors beforehand, everything's on the table, um, and then that's your choice. But when you're, if you're looking at a website, or you're looking at an ad in the newspaper, or you get a cold call, and someone's asking you for $35, $40, $50, whatever it might be, to, to get you a job, that's a scam. That's not the way legitimate employment agencies operate at all. Both the New York State Attorney General's Office and the Washington, D.C. Attorney General's Office told us they have no record of American careers with its given addresses. We then reached out to the Department of Consumer Affairs. The agency is now investigating whether American Careers is illegally operating as an employment agency, as well as whether they're misleading consumers about available job opportunities. To file a complaint, check if an employment agency is licensed, or for a free copy of DCA's What You Need to Know About Employment Agencies in Multiple Languages, call 311. Susan Jun. New York One. And if you'd like us to look into a problem, you can call our New York One.